sure you're up for this, pussycat? I still bet I can beat you to the bottom. How? By helicopter? I'll take the back route. The back route? Whoa, that's a triple diamond. Are we here to talk or to ski? We'll ski, but I'll be the one waiting at the bottom with the ambulance. You have fun with that. Monster time. She what? No, that can't be. What happened? I don't know. They just said she's gone. The news. Check the news. She was going up north with Aunt Agatha. This is awful. Just awful. Aunt Agatha, it is awful about Tabby. No, I meant this decor. How do you live like this? Oh, but the news about Tabitha. This has to be a case of mistaken identity. Tabitha is a veritable beacon of good behavior. What would she be doing with that boy at that place? She told me that she was going up north with you three. With us? Tabby said that? Guys, Tabby wouldn't lie. We all know that. No kidding. It would be against her genetic makeup. Or maybe she wouldn't lie that we know of. And now maybe we'll never know what happened. This is from Tabby's communicator. She's alive. Somewhere. Then we have to get to the lake resort. Let's go! You okay? I'm just thinking. Tabby lied. And not just to us, but to Aunt Agatha as well. Right when you think you know somebody. Of course, the stranger theory suggests you can never really know anybody. The what? The stranger theory. The idea that everybody has a stranger hiding inside of them. Take us. We spend so much time with each other, we go into battle with each other, and we expect to trust one another fully. But. How much do we know about each other, really? So you're saying? That we're basically strangers? While having each other's backs. Uh, we're not uh, totally sure about that just yet. How do you yet, feel? 
Well, it's really too soon to Tell me. us, what was Tabby really like? We don't actually know that if she's... If you could share with us your most private moment with her. And if you could manage to cry at some point during the story, that'd be really great. What? We have somewhere to be right now. <laughs> Just a few tears. That makes great TV. Okay, so now that we're here... How are we going to track Tabby's signal? I don't know. There must be a thousand square acres of land to cover, but... I think I know where to go. You know, this is a lot harder than it looks. I have to say, we don't have anything like this back home. Come on, guys, we have to keep going. The signal's getting stronger. We keep moving. Guys? This looks like a piece from Tavi's ski suit. There's another. She was trying to leave a path for us to follow. Signal strongest has been. We gotta move. When those reporters asked what Tabby was like, yesterday I could have answered that. And today? Today. <laughs> I know what you mean. Today she's like a mystery wrapped up inside an enigma, trapped inside a riddle. You know, there's a lot I don't know about you guys either. What movies you like, what flavor of ice cream, what colors even. Well, I always enjoy a good thought-provoking science documentary. And I don't really eat ice cream and no bright colors. Well, that's a start. You know, it's almost like... Wait a minute. The signal getting stronger? Really strong. According to our sensor, she should be right around here. Place. Took long enough. Tabby! <gasps> you have no idea how glad we are to see you. <laughs> Thanks, but can you guys please just get me out of here? Oh, is there no prime trick hammer around to help you out? Luke, please do not start with me at a time like this. Well, I'm just kind of curious to see who else he might be hanging out with down here. I'm guessing that wasn't Graham trick hammer. Luke, we gotta get out of here. Well, the only way I can see of getting out is the same way we got in. Wait! Here. Oh, you can't be serious. If Luke. I can just find the right way to get it linked. One, two, three! Okay, second pulley. Second pulley. You guys ready? The two of us? Oh, yeah. This mode of transportation is surprisingly intimate. Going up. Whoa! Think I can trust you to get up here by yourself? Luke, sometimes you just go a little too. <laughs> now that was no von Steinhauer creation. That's a real creature, all right. Well, it makes sense. The abominable snowman is something that's based on all sorts of folk legends. Who knew he actually existed? Yeah, well, no matter what, he's a threat to the city. We don't know that for sure. Listen, tomorrow we come back. No press, no cameras, just lots of monster gear. We'll make sure no one bothers this guy again. Let's move. Here they come! Tabby, what were you doing up here at the lake resort? You told one person you were up here with your aunt. You told your aunt you were out with the other warriors. Tabby, are the reports true that you were actually here with Graham Trickhammer? Hey, pal, my friend's been through a very traumatic experience, and you're about to go through one, too. Hear me? interesting conversation we were having earlier about how we don't really know that much about each other. That sounds interesting. The idea is to share something about yourself. Like say, I don't know, why you took off up north blazing saddles with Graham Trickhammer? Luke, it's none of our business. She doesn't have to tell us anything. Vanka's right. I don't have to tell Luke anything. My locket. The locket Aunt Agatha gave me. I must have lost it when I was back with the snowman. Ah, you sure you didn't lose it in a poker game? Gambling on a riverboat? 
That's fine. You don't have to believe another word I say. I won't. Certainly not surprised. Is something the matter? Uh, the HQ, it's, uh, gone. Oh, gone? Just brushed up a bit. I was forced into the necessity of waiting, so I used my time constructively. You can thank me later. And in the meantime, Tabitha, I'm sure you have quite a story to tell. And it better begin with a very good explanation of recent events. Wait, you're not gonna just leave it like this, are you? Mm -hmm. I actually kind of like it. HQ in five minutes. No, I'm sorry, I can't wait till morning. We've got big trouble. It's monster time. Any sign? No sign of him. Okay, well, it's already 4.30, so that gives us maybe two hours before the city starts to wake up. Thousands of innocent civilians pour out onto the streets. That way! Okay, he's now officially on a pointless rampage. Why do all the creatures we face have such incredible anger management issues? This one's behaving like a child that hasn't gotten what it wants, so it just goes around smashing things with no respect for anyone. Quick, down that alley. But, uh, you know, now that we're alone, um, I've been thinking. Maybe Vonka's right. I mean, maybe it's none of my business that you've been out gallivanting with Graham Trickhammer. It's good to hear. And, I mean, so what if you're not who I thought you were? Who is? You don't get it, do you? Nope. From the movie theater. I'm all ears. <sighs> okay, I shouldn't have lied to you, and I'm really sorry that I did. But uh, I'm just so sick of everybody thinking I'm the good girl all the time. Really? Don't you think it'd be nice to be a little more normal? I mean, to wake up in the morning and read about the monster warriors instead of being one? Sitting, staring mindlessly at some grape jelly for hours on end? Sure, why not? It's not easy being me, you know, being perky tappy. I know what you mean. 
Sometimes I don't really like being punk. Really? It might be nice to be a little bit more like you. Like me? Where pink, be cheerful. It gets tiring practicing karate chops to the throat all the time. Come on, you have an amazing karate chop. I'm a little jealous. So while you were up north not being tabby for a while, did anything happen between you and Graham? You know, to tell you the truth, I... Uncle Frank's meat company. It's just full of frozen meat. Well, if I was an abominable snowman, that's where I'd hide. There's something different about this monster. Like I said, all evidence suggests he's a natural phenomena of organic origins. An evolutionary glitch, if you will. Well, what's he doing? Or what does he want? Guys are not working. You must be iced up. He's masked. Frozen chickens. Use them as artillery. Hand them on. Bunko, we're gonna need something a little more sophisticated than frozen chickens! A frozen turkey! judged him for what we thought he was, not what he really is. Okay. So if we're not gonna vaporize him, then what are we... Uh, we, uh... Take him back where he belongs. something to remember me by. Uh, you take care of yourself, okay? Uh, I guess I owe you guys an explanation of what happened, right? Ah, uh, Tabby, you, you don't really owe us anything. It'd be nice, though. No, it was wrong to lie to you guys, and I'm just really sorry. But I really don't know why I did it. Sometimes we're the last to understand our own motives. People are like sandwiches. Now, that's a new one. I'll bite. That's an expression from my country back home. It means that you or I could easily say, yes, that one's tuna. But the sandwich itself, trying to look inward, can't quite see through all that mayonnaise. Something tells me part of that expression doesn't translate well. Still appetizing, though. <laughs> but listen, speaking of food, I've got an invitation. Four of us HQ tonight. All you need to bring is your appetites and your deepest, darkest secrets. Intense. <laughs> Okay, so the game is? Tell us something about yourself that we don't already know. Okay, you first. I think it's only fair. Fine. 
Okay, something about me that you don't already know is, and I know it's how my parents got rich and it's supposed to be really convenient, but I think grocery card coin dispensers are dumb. And I mean really dumb. I mean, having to put a deposit on a grocery card, it's dumb. And another thing, I make regular donations to the Capital City Tree Hugger Society. I think it would make my parents proud, and I'm proud of it myself. That's, that's good. Okay. Something that you guys don't know about me is, I think science documentaries are totally boring. Yeah. What I'm really into, kung fu movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can do better than that. I actually enjoy Klaus von Steinhauer movies while eating butter pecan ice cream, and lots of it, generally while wearing pink fuzzy slippers. Okay, well, what you guys don't know about me is I don't actually like Graham Schokhammer. I think he's a conceited jerk, and the truth is I wouldn't let him near me with a 10-foot ski pole. Well, if we're getting it all out in the open, I don't care much for the guy either. Never have. Okay. I even think TV shows on science are boring. When I just want to kick back and relax, know what I watch? Stock car racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. That stuff is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it.